So hello everyone, my name is Michael. Uh, it's me who is vlogging at uh, the website Holy Spirit Activism. And right now I'm in uh, South Africa uh, visiting Irish ministries who are working here uh, to, to, um, uh, to fight poverty and to change communities and stuff like that. So they have a very nice preschool. Now remember kids, don't touch the button because then the movie will end. So, they, they have a very nice uh, preschool. <coughs> and I want to take this opportunity uh, to start uh, a new uh, YouTube series called God vs. Poverty. Uh, which obviously is a sequel to my previous series called God vs. Wealth. So, in this series I want to share some uh, biblical insights on what it is uh, that uh, fights and ends uh, poverty. Uh, all right, kids. Papela, don't touch the camera. All right. Yeah. Here we go. Niabonga gakulu. So, um, let us go to Matthew 25. All right. Hey, children. Li Bible. Woohoo. Li Bible litsi ungulo ungulo wenda ti mangaliso. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. That's good. So, hey. Matthew 25, uh, <coughs> uh, Herr Jesus is saying that when he, he, when he comes back, he will separate the sheep from the goats. And, oh my God, you actually zoomed this in extremely much. So, hey, hello again. So, <coughs> he's saying that uh, the sheep, they, they were uh, Hallelujah. him when he was hungry. Yeah, and he says, I was thirsty, you gave me something to drink. I was a stranger and you invited me in. I needed clothes and you clothed me. Okay, Pela, don't touch. Uh, and uh, I was sick and you looked after me. I was in prison and you came to visit me. So obviously when we help those who are in need, uh, we are helping Jesus, which is very neat. Uh, and, and what I think is very interesting, please, children, don't touch the camera. I, it's gonna, it's gonna be problems with that. All right, Papela, don't man, man, please. Thank you, Nyabonga. Uh -uh. Man, 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 man. Don't touch it. All right. Okay. Don't touch. Don't touch. All right, Nyabonga Kakulu. So, <coughs> what I think is very interesting is that. Um, these uh, things that you know we should do towards people in need, and that's Jesus, uh, are built upon relation. You know, because it's not just that we give money to someone who goes and feeds uh, the hungry. What we're actually doing is ourselves. Now, of course, we should give money <laughs> to organizations who help the poor, because you know that's very effective. Because they are professionals and they know how to do it. So I'm going to talk about giving in, in the next video. But what I want to emphasize now is that it's really important that we actually have relationships uh, with those in need, with the poor, uh, and that we build and strengthen those relationships. You know, in 1 John chapter 3, verse 17, it's one of my favorite Bible verses. Uh, John is writing, uh, amen. Amen. John, John is writing, uh, that if, if, if someone has material resources, and, and knows that there's someone uh, who is in need, <laughs> and and uh, some translations say uh, closes his heart for the person in need. How can the love of God remain in that person? Because uh, to feel love and compassion uh, for the poor is the first and most vital step in actually fighting poverty. And I think uh, the the most common problem in the world is that the rich are separated from the poor. You know, just like the, the rich man and Lazarus in Luke chapter 16, uh, that uh, the, the poor man Lazarus actually died right outside um, the man's house. So, um, what I think is, is really, really important is that all over the world, Christians start uh, to build relationship with the poor and also start to, to go and live with the poor, live in poor communities. I mean, <coughs> that, that's the problem with apartheid. Uh, that that um, the rich people they live for themselves. They are separated from the poor. They build their own societies. They build their own cities in the midst of so much poverty, of so much problem. So, I want to encourage everyone uh, to go to the areas in your country, in your city, where there are poor people, and sell your house, sell everything you have, 
and go and, and live in the poor communities and start community houses. Start to share everything you have with them. Do like uh, Acts chapter 2, you know, share everything you have with the poor. Build relationship, feel the love with the poor because then, you know, <laughs> it's, it's much more efficient than just giving uh, a couple of, of uh, dollars or euros or whatever a month to an organization because then you actually get to know the poor. They actually got to, to, to build a relationship and then you, you can't simply ignore them. You can't close your eyes to the problems. Alright? <clears throat> so, I, I know a, a counter argument to that is obviously that, you know, what about uh, evangelizing to the rich people because they also need Jesus and so on. Um, but I really think that uh, through uh, reaching the people at the bottom, we're also reaching the people at the top. Uh, I think that it's extremely important that we go and seek those that nobody else cares about. Uh, because that would be a testimony to the rich and affluent that what they're doing is actually wrong. Alright, it's wrong to be rich. That was um, what I was teaching about in, in the God vs. Wealth teaching. Uh, it's wrong to be rich. And, and so I think it will be a testimony uh, for the rich and that we will reach them with the gospel if we uh, go to the poor <laughs> and, and leave our privileges because I know most of the people that are watching on YouTube they're fairly rich, you know. And so I really want to encourage you to uh, sell everything you have and give your money to the poor and go and, and live in poor communities. Come to Africa, come to Asia, you know. We really need missionaries these days. We really need missionaries. Some, some people think that it's <coughs> old fashioned and, and that um, these nations should take care of their own evangelism. But we really need um, <coughs> people that come from the richest societies that sacrifice what they have uh, to come with their knowledge, uh, to come with their passion to see miracles and um, to experience God in the missions field. So, <coughs> um, one final remark also, uh, I think there are many myths about the poor uh, that will be crushed when we seek to, to build these uh, relations and build this love. Uh, for example, <laughs> there are myths that I think to a large extent is just created by rich people in order to defend their ignorance and lack of action when it comes to help the poor. Uh, and, you know, common myths like the poor are poor because of themselves, you know, it's their own fault because they are lazy or because they are wasteful. And I also think that something that I hear a lot about is that um, people have a poverty spirit that keeps them poor. Uh, even if you try to help them, but they just want to beg all the time and they're always asking for money because of a mindset. Uh, you know, I, I hear this a lot of times, but it, it's not something that i really seen in actual life. And it's definitely nothing i read about in the Bible, you know. Uh, the only poverty spirit that the Bible is talking about is uh, the one that Jesus is blessing, you know, bless the poor in spirit. I think it's, it's dangerous when we talk about Poverty is something caused by the poor, because it isn't. Nobody wants to be poor, alright? Nobody wants their families to die in HIV. Nobody wants uh, their children to go hungry. Nobody wants their children to have bad teeth, right? So I, I think that we have to overcome those myths, trying to build relations with the poor and getting actually to know them and, and getting to love them. So um, that's the message of this first video. I'm planning to make four more. Uh, the, the first and most vital step is uh, to love the poor, you know. In Acts chapter 2, it doesn't say that um, the disciples were one in heart and mind because they sold everything. But it says that they sold everything because they were one heart and mind, right? That's the most uh, vital uh, thing when it comes to fighting poverty. It's to know the poor, to love the poor and build relationship with them. So, uh, thank you so much. Thank you for this children. God bless you and I'll see you in another video.